just really like that creme brulee kind of up front, like pounding on the tongue, and then that transition to that uh, that tobacco. I think it's a really nice sip for winter time. So I really am having a hard time here because of like, you know, the the regular bottles. Welcome back to the Three Bourboniers. This week we have two special guests from Stellum. That's right. It's our favorite brand. These were sent to us by our favorite people over there. And uh, these are essentially this time of year's releases, right? right. So right. they wanted They're us to- They're special releases. Special releases. Yeah. Um, Barrel Craft Spirits Company. So they make really good juice. We think they're the masters of blending. We've yes. had many reviews on them. You should check out some of our other videos. Yeah. Clearly we like them. So we should almost just pile them in the in the yeah. Right. Just have them all the in one place. Yeah. Right. So yeah, what we're doing tonight is we're just gonna tell you which one we think is best. If you should be buying the Hunter's Moon, which is the barrel proof bourbon, or if you should be buying the Lone Cypress, which is the barrel proof uh, rye. And again, so they have their traditional um, Stellum Black releases, which there's a bourbon and there's a rye, and those are the barrel proofs with a little bit older stock. Um, and these are just some special releases, like Ethan said, that are coming out uh, around the winter time. So with like different, they like specialize their flavor profile, right? Yeah, they yeah. Try it's to supposed to be something a little different. Make it different. So we'll go ahead and get these poured, and while I'm doing that, thank you guys for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our channel. I'd like to drink and make money doing it. <laughs> Um, I love drinking alcohol. Um, I have, I'm about to have my second kid, so I really need it. So please, we'd love to see your support and, uh, let us know if you have tried either of these in the comments. Um, are people buying these, you know, specialized products? I'm kind of curious. So yeah. And, uh, towards the end, we will do a some, try by deny kind of, right? Some kind but, of try by uh, deny we'll where let you know. is the bottle worth yeah. what, you know, what you're going to pay for it. And this know. one, which one should you buy? Yeah, and, and which yeah. one do we prefer over the other? All right, so leave that one on the left so you know. Yeah. Wait, so that's your pouring the rye right now? Yeah. Okay, so my rye. So historically, we have been massive fans of just <laughs> the regular rye and the regular bourbon. We've had the single barrel sent to us. We've had mm -hmm. a lot of the black sent to us. And we've kind of decided that based on price point, we are just cool with like the regular bourbon yeah. and regular rye for the 60-ish dollars. Or Except two. for the rye, I'm actually a bigger fan of the, the black, black rye. rye is the, really yeah, good. the black rye is okay. the one that I would actually go with. It's uh, worth like the, the it's worth the extra money because you're right. getting that like rye. higher age rye, you know, and it's higher. And proof. it's just special. It's, yeah. it's one of those special bottles. So. Yeah. All right, let's dig into the bourbon. The one. On the you want to do the bourbon? Yeah, let's go with the bourbon. I, mine are screwed up, so don't worry about what I'm grabbing. I put no, yours over your there. bourbon's on the left. Your bourbon's right? on the left. No, you, the second one you poured was rye, right? Yeah. You poured it in my little glass. No, I, I, I swear. I poured the bourbon in your little glass because I poured the bourbon in his little glass. Yes, that is true. I placed him for you. And he also placed it. I don't know, guys. Always pay attention, folks. I don't know. I, I feel like we're going to watch this back and everyone's going to be like, wow, what a nerd. Okay, immediately I'm getting a lot of like warm, smoky, woody comfort. In that nose. That does smell like the rye. It's very, very. <laughs> imagine that. It's very traditional bourbon notes. Yeah. It's to me, it's caramel, brown sweet. sugar. Sweet. Yeah. Very sweet. Mapley. Uh, pretty deep and dark. Mm -hmm. As a hunter, I appreciate that name too. Very savory smelling. Very like I want to drink it now. Let's like do it. All. Okay. Cheers. 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 Hey, that's what's really going good. on? I said hey. <laughs> so bold. Oh wow, dude, that was our first one of the night, and that was that's uh, a nice finish too. It's still on there. It's all up in your face. That was a Brian Urlacher tackle. I'm getting yeah. the tobacco. Wait, we got tobacco from the regular, right? Yeah, yeah. From the regular, I'm getting tobacco yeah, on this. Got on a tobacco finish. leaf finish yeah, for sure. I'm, um, I'm getting that up front though. Really heavy. Uh, Barrel char, yeah, really heavy caramel, really caramel heavy brown sweetness. sugar, yeah. um, almost like that creme brulee wow. uh, crust. That oil follows through in the mouthfeel. It's very yeah. silky. Yeah, You're absolutely. not kidding. Look at the legs on this. Yeah, and very oily. The finish so far. I want to take a couple more sips. Like medium to long, possibly long. Like that's a, it's hanging on. It's very mm. tobacco esque. Like almost like a mild earthy. Because it, it's weird because it starts so sweet and then it hits into that like 
like leathery tobacco. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, it transitions pretty quick. Yeah. Like you said, you get that punch of sweetness and then it goes right into that yeah. leathery tobacco-ish. Kind, kind of that roller coaster-esque that we like. What is yeah, the like sweetness though? It's kind of, I'm trying to, I'm getting like a, like caramely, like butterscotch. Uh, there's, it's not like fruity sweetness. No, the way, like, the way I, I think of it is, it literally to me tastes like the crust of a creme brulee. Yeah. Like it's almost yeah. like someone's burnt something and then yeah. you're just putting that burnt so sweetness like caramelized, in caramelized, yeah. like burnt candy. Some caramelized sugar of some That's kind definitely of like burnt caramel. I'm almost like a toffee. That's super good. Like, like a bit of a toffee kind of taste to it. Yeah. The color is pretty rich on this too. Like that's a, I'm that's a deep one. copper. <laughs> yep, you didn't like it, did you? No, no, yeah. All right, so let's go to the let's, yeah. let's go ahead and switch over to the rye and see uh, see what it's got to offer. Ooh, now, traditionally, the rye has been our favorite. Uh, that's going to be tough to beat. Yeah. Rye black, yeah, and then the bourbon standard Ooh. is has been our favorite. So, do we need to wash out Ooh. my palate? I don't think so. The rye. I immediately got. Uh, oh, what did we sip on? Was it Old Forester that had like a hint of mint in it, almost? Yeah, like a, this is very minty. Yeah, oh, like wow. Yeah, like I picture like smacking a mint before you put it in yes. like, a cocktail. Like this is just peppermint all the way. Reminds me of a mojito, man. Peppermint, maybe a little baking spice in there. Wow, that is that's a little potent on the nose though. Like that's that's a it's very, letting you know it's there. Yeah, it's very light. Yeah. It's got that typical like kind of grassy. Mm -hmm. It's just very very nice. All right, color's a little lighter I think Should than uh, bourbon. Cheers. Yeah, the yeah. legs are fantastic. Let's do it. Cheers. Wow. That mint kind of almost follows through. Big time. That's just a mint bomb. Dude, that is nothing but mint. Very strange. Whoa. Super peppery. Like over the top. Yeah, yeah, no, peppers. that's like, that's very peppery. It's like if you were to bite into like a, Whoa. a peppercorn something cooked and then like throw a piece of Ooh. mint gum in yeah. right after you eat it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's. I, mm. I feel that for sure. Okay, off of first sip, we'll see how. We'll see how my palate changes here, but off of first sip, I'm liking the bourbon more as of right now. I think I might be with you. Yeah. I think I like them both though, based on, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, again, it's just, it's all peppermint. There's a lot of spice, a lot of rye spice. It's almost like jalapeno spice or like just That's cracked so black, pe black pepper in the back of my throat. That's what it feels like, so. The finish is very like slow moving. It kind of yes! hangs on. Thank you. Yeah, and it goes, and then all of a sudden it's like here, and you're like, I, is it done yet? And then it gets and then all in the of a sudden it starts going again. Yeah. But my my one issue is it's like, it's like I can, it's like I'm gonna taste it, like I can feel it rushing, like the flavors, and right. then it just kind of stops, and then it just kind of slowly like stays there. I feel like the, yeah, the flavor drops off. Yeah, the, but the heat still kind of like yeah, the resonates. heat the heat's there, but like the bad. flavor no, kind of stops. I wish it would like explode. Yeah, like, we like the keep berry. Going a little bit, yeah. We like the flavor bombs. You yeah, know, the nose. They're so vastly different. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously they are because one's a bourbon, one's a rye. But when you compare the two, it's like I kind of want to live in both of them. They're both very good. There's no doubt about that. Oh, and this retails for a hundred dollars. Hundred bucks. That these around hundred bucks. Yeah, for these. Okay. Yep. So we're talking a hundred dollar bottle. Again, that's the thing. It's no joke. You gonna try a little bit more of the, the bourbon? <laughs> Easy slugger. <laughs> I'm excited, what can I say? I need a little bit more. Ooh, I don't know that. My, my mind's made up. The I, bourbon's I rich. This is like a different experience. Yeah, this again, like, it's 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 just minty um, in a good way, I think. No, yeah. It's minty, it's... fresh, um, and just super spicy. Spicy mint. Whoa. Going back to the bourbon. That was like very, very oaky and uh, butterscotch. Yeah. All hmm. right. Should we well, tell, them, tell them what we think? So we'll do a try by deny, but we'll do picking between the two. Yeah. So it'll be a slightly different than a normal try by deny. So yeah. should we get into it? Yeah, why not? All right. You guys want me to go first? I want to go last. My mind's made up. All right, yeah, why don't you go first then? All right, uh, if it's me, I'm going with uh, the bourbon. All really? Day long. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this is kind of strange because most of the time I've been a fan of the rye. I'm a huge rye fan, but to me, um, just 
this bourbon's got something extra on it. It's got that that impactful uh, opening to the mm -hmm. sip. It's got a really deep nose to it. Um, I feel like I can really get in there and smell a lot of things, um, as opposed to the rye, which is kind of offending a little bit. I can't really get too far in there. Yeah. It's very minty. Um, I do think the rye is very good, but uh, I just really like that creme brulee kind of up front, like pounding on the tongue, and then that transition to that uh, that tobacco. I think it's a really nice sip for winter time. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, if I'm spending $100, uh, this is the one I'm going with. So okay. my pick is the the, the Hunter's Moon bourbon. All right. Um, so I really am having a hard time here because of like, you know, the the regular bottles. Um, I really like the rye. I really like the regular black rye. It's like one of my favorite whiskeys. But for some reason, this rye is just rubbing me the wrong way. I don't know why. It's like the flavor isn't quite delivering an experience, and it's a hundred bucks, so um, it just kind of falls short. Like I said, it's got a lot of flavor, and it's like it's gonna hit, and then it just kind of stays, and it just slowly rolls over your tongue, and it's just a burn. The finish is almost just a minty burn it's for like me. It's like yeah. it's like you put scope in your mouth, you know, and you swished it around. So for me, I am gonna pick the Hunter's Moon because it gave me a bit of that roller coaster feel. It started sweet, went into that tobacco, um, just gave me a little more of an experience. It's two oh, I would go for. What's it gonna be? Hunter's Moon. Ah, there's three. So the reason I, I I'm sitting here and and one thing, literally as I was smelling it, thinking it in my head for the rye, you're like it kind of offends a little bit, and I'm sitting here and, dude, you can't like. Your nose, when you get in there, I mean, it kind of, it, it kind of, it's a, it's a lot. The more it sits, the, the easier it gets, yeah. for sure. But it's pepper heavy. I mean, it's, it's very peppery. Yeah, it's yeah. it's like Ooh. this has a, the Hunter's Moon has a far more robust nose, and I would almost go as far as putting this next to Joseph Magnus Cigar. Um, some of the other ones that we call like the filing cabinet bourbons, like yeah. I really want to come back to this in like two, three weeks. Check it out. And because there's more to this that I'm still trying this to. This is like out. a smoke wagon uncut unfiltered. You know and what I mean? Some, like a, some even some like peanut on there. That's yeah, what, yeah. This might be better than smoke wagon uncut unfiltered. I don't know. It this could is, be. I, I don't know. It's it, close. It'd be interesting it's, to do back to back. That's a good comparison. Yeah, we should do that at some point. But I'm gonna I'm gonna choose Hunter's Moon. Nothing wrong with this. Um, Not at all. I think we just love the other Stellan Black too much and. This is just very minty, black pepper, spice. For, I mean, it's a rye, right? Yeah, if you're, if you're into the spicy stuff, yeah, if you want spice, love this mm -hmm. is like a jalapeno pepper with, with some cracked pepper on top of it. Like, it's, it's I good. think this would be a great post-dinner little sipper. Yeah. This, I could sit and just think on and ponder with. For, that's, a, that's a fire whiskey. Yeah. Sit by the fire, for sure. So, so. Yeah, definitely. Well, Thanks. thank you guys for yeah. watching. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, Stellum, for... Yeah. Thank you guys again. for donating these bottles again. Seriously. I mean, we really we, appreciate by it. By the way, I just want to pause and say, like... This is still an, a great bourbon, and yeah. I would drink yes. this probably over over a lot ninety percent of, of what we've reviewed on the channel. So I don't want to by any means say this is bad. Right. It's just between the we're two, we're just really picky. We're, this is what we. That's what that's yes. what our job is. Our job is to be yes. picky and tell you guys what we prefer. So absolutely. Right. But yeah, thank you for watching. Have you guys tried any of the other Stellan products? Um, I know mm. we're obsessed with the Rise and the Blacks and the Regulars. Uh, we're starting to see them in our area, so maybe other people are now too. Finally. But you can also order them online, so check them out. Uh, they're a great brand. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Watch some of our other videos. We got a couple other sound reviews. We'll see you in the next one. We release videos every Thursday. All for one and one for all. Cheers. Cheers.